Let's go over how to add cuboids into the 2D mini LiDAR tool. First, in order to add cuboids, you're just going to need to go to the 3D scene. Again, this is the option here in the left panel. This is the fifth option. Uh, normally, when you're on the project view, you could just click over to the 3D scene to view. You can now press T to enter top down view, which is a direct bird's eye above the entire scene. This is useful for annotating objects um, and annotating new objects. You could press F to unlock the camera. Usually you're attached to the cuboid you're currently selected to, but when we're adding new cuboids, we don't want to be locked in one place. We want to be able to move around freely. So F is the hotkey to do that. Now we're going to see some points here uh, of the object we want to annotate. So the first thing we have to do is just click and drag in order to draw the original in the initial dimensions for our box. Once we have the rough sizing set, we could go to the project view and we could select the label to apply to this uh, box that we've drawn. Once you have the box drawn, you need to adjust any dimensions, um, make any adjustments to the heading, etc. Since this is a stationary car, I'm going to go ahead and mark it as stationary. To do this, I could go down, up, sorry, up here where it says cuboid and you can click on stationary. A warning is going to pop up saying this change will reset cuboid information. We're going to click on the checkbox to confirm and we've just added our first cuboid. So if you go back to the 3D scene, you could see that the object's there now. And then also, if, whenever you want to check a different object, you could either click on it in the 3D scene, or you could also click on this uh, tag up here, the first option, and you could select any objects that you either haven't visited yet or other objects you have visited so far. Hopefully that makes sense. Continue on with the rest of the course.